Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can transfer your Windows license from one computer to another. First off, it's important to know that not all Windows licenses are transferable. You are only able to transfer Windows retail licenses, be it Windows 7, 8 or 10. So before you go ahead deactivating your computer, it's important to check if your license is actually transferable, which means you should have a retail license. If you are not sure what kind of license you currently have, I will show you how to verify that in a moment. The second thing is to ensure you have access to the license itself. That's the 25 character product key. You can find this from the email through which your license was delivered or from your computer using some special tools or commands. I will show you how to do that in this tutorial as well. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first you need to verify that you have a retail license and not an OEM license. The major differences between these two is that the retail license allows you to transfer the license from one device to another in the way I'll be showing here in this tutorial, while the OEM license doesn't. Secondly, with most retail licenses, you are able to upgrade from Windows 10 Home Edition directly to Pro Edition without having to reinstall your Windows, while with the OEM you can't do that. You can only use the OEM license to activate already installed Windows on your device. You can reinstall Windows on this same device and still retain your OEM license, but you can't move it to another device. And in case you are yet to acquire a retail license, I highly recommend Prime Tech Mart. They offer genuine Windows licenses at highly reduced costs, and they have very good customer support service. I will leave their link down in the video description. Now to verify whether you have a retail or OEM version of Windows, Usually, if you have a computer that came pre-installed with Windows 10, then you are most likely using an OEM license. But to verify, go to your search and type CMD. Click on the command prompt app from the search results. On the command line, type in the command SLMGR space dash DLI as shown on the screen and hit enter. Wait for a few seconds and you should have this dialog box pop up. You just look for where it says retail channel or OEM DM channel, depending on what version you have. Here, as you can see, mine is the retail license. If yours is OEM, then it should say OEM DM as shown on this other computer. Again, remember you cannot transfer an OEM license. You can only transfer a retail license. And with that done, the next thing is to ensure that you have your 25 character license code. You can find this code from the email with which your license was delivered or using some special tools or commands. My favorite tool for this is the free PC Audit tool. I will leave the link down in the description as well. As the name implies, it's completely free. It's small in size, just about 3 megabyte. It doesn't require installation, so you can just run it from a USB stick. Here, just hit download. And after downloading, just click on it once and wait for the process to run. Afterwards, you should have a result like this. As you can see, this tool also displays a bunch of other information about your computer. Here, we are interested in the Windows product key. So on this right pane, you will see where it says Windows product key. And next to it is your 25 character license code. You can simply right click on it and select copy and then save it to a text file. Or better still, just take a screenshot and then save it as an image. Now that we have retrieved our license key, we can proceed to deactivate the currently activated computer before using the license to activate another computer. To do that, go back to search and type CMD. Now this time, right click on the command prompt app and select run as administrator. Hit yes on the user account control. On the command line, type in the command slmgr dot bbs space forward slash upk as shown on the screen and hit enter now this command uninstalls the product key itself when successfully uninstalled you should have this dialog box that says uninstalled product key successfully if you get something different then try to run the command again or follow the instructions on the dialog box next you want to also remove the key from the registry to do that type in the command slmgr.bbs 
space forward slash cpky as shown on the screen and hit enter now this should also pop up a confirmation to verify that it was successful and with that you have successfully deactivated your current pc and you can now use the same license to activate another computer or activate the same computer if you wish i will also leave these commands in the description in case you want to copy them directly and that is it for this tutorial. Again, if you are yet to obtain your Windows license, you can check out Prime Tech Mart for reliable and affordable licenses. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.